lot to you. Such, Such as, as your driving instructor. Or your grandmother. Somebody means Teacher, a lot to you. Daughter. Daughter. Okay. Your sister. Your nemesis. Your, nemesis. your best pet. friend. Nemesis. Evil twin. Evil twin. I said that. I don't think a nemesis would mean a lot to So, you asked for someone who means a lot to you, and you got your teacher. Your teacher. Your teacher. So what's his teacher doing? Uh, Sir John McDonald doing their life event. They asked for uh, somebody who's important to you, and they got teacher. We'll see this in five, four, three, two, one. Um, okay, Rebecca, I corrected your last test, and... I hate to say this, but you really, you need to do better in my class. You're barely passing. That's not my fault. I'm sorry, Miss Dean, but I try my hardest. And I know what I'm capable of. Rebecca, I just, I feel like you aren't giving 100%. I can't mark you high unless you give me that. You know the material. I've taught it in class. I know I know the material, and I know what I'm putting on the test. Okay, you're just... You're just a bad teacher, okay? You don't know what you're doing. No teacher wants to hear that they are a bad teacher. I try to get through my students, I do, and I, I'm around for extra help, but sometimes I just, I don't feel like I'm getting through to them. I don't even know why she became a teacher, to be honest. I think she hates kids. I told my sister Grace not to become a teacher. She can't deal with teaching kids. I understand that uh, maybe my teaching methods do not cater to your type of learning or <coughs> anyone else's in the class. I just need you to try a little harder, okay? All right, maybe I'll have my dad talk to you. Uh, hello, Miss Dean. Hi, um, you're Rebecca's father? Yes. Yes, it's nice, nice to meet you. Um, Rebecca's been in my classes for a while. Actually, I'll show you some of her work. Um, now, now, she's always complaining about you, and she, I don't want to say it, she thinks you're a terrible teacher. I don't personally think that, you seem like a very nice lady. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, this is the work that she's been doing. Um, I, I think she knows the material, but I just, I can't see her apply it in her projects and in her tests. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. This. This doesn't seem like she's telling me the, the whole truth. It seems like she's not putting in the effort. I thank you for understanding my position in this. I'm going to go home and talk to her because, you know, students these days, they are lazy, and I don't think that you deserve the whole blame. Thank you. There you are. Thank you. Rebecca? Yeah, yeah. I was just talking to Miss Dean. Cool. What'd she say? She showed me her last project. And I did great on it, didn't I? No, you didn't, Rebecca. Dad, I tried. You don't understand. She's old. She doesn't, she doesn't know. If all you're going to do is bitch and complain about your teachers, why do you even go to school? Maybe I'll stop going to school. Dad, is that what you want? No, that's not one what One minute, want. one minute. She's not a bad teacher, Rebecca. You, you just need to put in a little bit more effort. And maybe if you made a better impression and stop, mm. stop standing like this all sassy, you know, she would get a better impression of you. Sarah. I just can't take it anymore. I walk into a classroom and they've all got their phones out. I try and talk and I try and explain the curriculum and they're not even listening. They're slouching in their seats. Well, Grace, maybe you can meet them halfway. Like, their posture, that shouldn't be a big deal to you. It's the way they 30 seconds, 30 seconds. But this is how you exhibit excellence. If you don't show it every single day, it becomes habit to go into your old ways. Then tell them that. I just don't know anymore. And speak! Okay, Sir John A, it is time to do your theme event. And your theme event must be drawn from this enclosed envelope sent from headquarters. We will rip this up and pick a winner. I get to actually see it first, but I'll tweet it by my mind. Pick a winner. Pick a winner. Way at the bottom. Put it on.
Uh, excuse me. Show it to Alex. Okay. So, Sir John A. McDonald picked their theme event, our theme, and they got Master. Master. M A S T E R. Master. Sir John A. goes to our theme event. Do you see this theme? Five, four, three, two, one. Keep working, you fools! But Mr. Mitch, like he's Master Mitch to you. I own you fools. We've been working all day. Can we just have like a drink of water or go to the bathroom or something? Five minutes. Sir, please, it's dre it's drenching in heat out here, and I just can't take it. I'm Do you so guys think I pay you to sit around and have five minute breaks? But we were You guys need to get better at sewing. You don't pay us at all. Everything going down all right there, Quinn? Yep. Doing good? Yep. Keeping everything safe. All right. No one's ever going to get into this. This is the best, most secure cabinet you could ever ask for. With us here keeping it safe and locked, no one's getting through us. No one. Man, it sure does feel good to be king. Kings of the Pry Lands, that's who we are. <laughs> Overseeing all the other animals, this is the life, I tell ya. Sure glad we got our master's degree, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You two need to start sewing faster! Faster! Sir, my thumbs, they're bleeding. I've poked them so many times. You see these thumbs, son? They're about as wide as an elephant's nose. They're huge. <laughs> yeah, you know how? I poked this thumb 22 times in one day. One day! I'll get back some work. Yeah, that's right. I poked this thumb 22 times getting my, getting my degree in sewing, okay? You guys need to calm down, and you need to get back to work. You're the best, Mitch. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. No one, Quinn. I'm telling you right now, this is the most secure cabinet. Even though all of the most dangerous chemicals in the entire lab are in here, no one's ever going to get a hold of them. Oh, look. Oh. Oh, oh, she, she's picking the lock. Oh, no, Quinn. she is picking, she is no, picking the lock. No, don't worry, it's fine. Not even the master of lock picking can get in here. Hey, Grace, do you have the master key? Oh, yeah, it's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I just, I'm in the habit of, you know, just going in and sneaking here. There's a master oh, key <laughs> to a master lock. <laughs> Why couldn't I think All of that? Right, ah. all right, let's see. I'll just move that there and uh, close it back up. I feel so violated. <laughs> They just reached it in and took what they wanted. <laughs> Some master lock we are. More like the loser lock. All right, Grace, so I think I've got it down pat. We're going to jump off the cliff and we're going to pounce off. We're just going to pounce and just roll and those angelots are going down. Yeah. I've practiced this all my life. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm happy we're just, just going to pounce. Okay. One. Two, two three. three, Alex. Uh, yes. So, yes, Mitch, yes. One minute, one minute. It's really great here, so. Yeah? So, I'm going to promote you. <gasps> Do I get paid now? <laughs> no, don't be silly. You're going to become Master Corporal of the sewing yard. <gasps> so, I get to command these guys? Oh, you get to command everyone, except for me, of course. Of course. <coughs> yeah, so, just get back to your work and, uh, you're doing a great job, son. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. Give him the thumbs. Give him the thumbs. All hail Alex. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Get back to work! Violation is not cool. You know what, Quinn? We're just gonna lock up and never come never come apart again. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Gotta put it back now. <laughs> 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 I'm not going this time. I'm not going this no, time. No, man, I got you. I am the I master of super strength. I got you. Uh, Sure, I mean... Not the sledgehammer! Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Alright, Sir John A, you are doing a story event. Oh. Story event. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Story events. Hi, I'm Grace. Oh. And I'm Sarah. We're going to do a story event. Our ask for is some place you wouldn't want to take a date, such as the department store. Or a wedding. Um, a wedding. Wrestling okay. ring! Wrestling uh, ring! Uh, wrestling ring! 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 Wrest
wrestling ring! Wrestling! School dance! Orphanage! Root cellar! Root cellar! Hey, Mr. McDonald, you asked for a place uh, that you wouldn't want to take a date and you got? A prison. A prison? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Johnny McDonald doing the story of it, they asked for a place that you would not want to take a date and they got a prison and we'll see you in five, four, three, two, one! prison was the most secure prison anyone had ever seen. There were bars everywhere, down the front, up at the windows, you could not get out. There were tons of coiled, um, pokey, po pokey holes. And alarms ready to go off. The worst of criminals were lurking around. Some were hopeless because they knew they had no chance of getting out of this prison. Man, I've been in here for way too long. I gotta get back to my family. I've been in here since 1950. <laughs> what did you guys do to get in here, anyway? I littered. <laughs> I took the last cookie from the cookie jar. You guys got it rough? I've been in here since 1902. 1902? I've been here since the first day this prison was ever built. Well, what did you do to be in here so long? I did the unspeakable. What did you do? I poked him with a sewing needle. You poked him with a sewing needle? You see, this prison was for <laughs> criminals that weren't really worth locking up with the martyrs and things like that. Well, you say you've been in here since it's been built. You must know some of the, you know, ropes around here. Is there any way we could get out? Last week? I was talking to the cafeteria lady. She gave me these. The blueprints for this dang place. <laughs> and I'll never litter again. Oh, you better not litter, son. You wouldn't want to end up back in here. No. Mitch, did you show them the blueprints? Oh, yes, Grace. Thank you very much. Just, you never saw me. I was never here. So they went over the blueprints, devising their master plan of escape. So what are you guys thinking? How are we going to calm the alarms? You know, I wouldn't want to set them off. We can sneak out in the laundry. Ah, the laundry! There's a laundry sheet. And they decided to get the laundry ladies on their side, too. Miss, okay. how can I help you? So we're, uh, we're thinking of sneaking out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and we need your help. We're going to do it in the laundry chute. What's it for me? <coughs> I still got the last cookie. Uh, well, okay, let's do it. Right here. And they descend in the laundry chute, one by one, down, 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 until they ended up in the lobby of the prison. Guys, <coughs> stay close to the wall. I don't know what to do. There's guards everywhere. What do we do now? <coughs> That's a dumb idea. Look normal. Hi, hi there, folks. Hey, how are you? Hey, you're fantastic. One minute, one minute. Chimpanzee! 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 Chimp
Maybe I'll stop being so angry, deformed. I have heard your prayers, my beautiful jelly of the sea. And what you need is something to make you more useful. What you need is a sting. And I will give that to you. Go, go use this magic power that I'm giving you. Interrupted on Rebecca and Quinn as they were doing the electric slide, <laughs> only to be interrupted by a sharp sting. Hey, guys. hey. <laughs> back off! This is our territory. You guys are like almost useful now. You guys are cool. Almost. Yeah, almost useful. What were we before? Useless. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Well. One minute. One minute. We're not useless anymore. I mean, we're not just floating pieces of jelly. I mean, oh, we got sting. I think I'm a little more attractive now, too. I mean, our population's gonna go through the roof. Oh, yeah, everyone's gonna love me. And they were able to use their stings to get food, too. And, man, we're gonna live so much longer that we can get food. There's a fish. <laughs> Rebecca, you look electrifying. I am electrifying. <laughs> 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Go get him, girl. Whoosh. Son, you need like a sting. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be sitting around the house doing nothing. You gotta go out and better yourself to get something that'll be useful for you. I understand, Dad. Thanks. Hey,